evening, I'm Valencia Lorodi. Welcome to Jobek TV with your news update. Pennyville protesters threaten to make Gauteng ungovernable. Pakistan said the money that is set aside for Alex Renewal project was used appropriately. Pennyville residents in Soweto have threatened to disrupt voting in the area if government does not address their grievances. The group has shut down the area as they are demanding the title due to the flat they have been occupying since 2005. This is the latest in the number of service delivery protests around the country. The residents said that since they have been brought here, the owners of this land have been changed five times. Former Johannesburg Mayor Park Star, who said the money set aside for Alex Renewal Project was used appropriately. Residents in the Alexander Township have been protesting over lack of services for the past week. Tau's successor, Mayor Hemen Mashaba, said that the city will launch a probe to determine what happened to the money set aside for the project. Jobek TV attended the annual Sport Classic Festival briefing. Hakodi Madiba has filed this report. Good day, Jobek TV people. Today, Jobek TV is in Senten for the Gauteng Province media invitation of the Arnold Africa Sports Festival. This year's event will not be only be taking place in Senten, but it will also have an eight kilometer night run. In attendance was the MEC of Sports and Recreation in Gauteng, Ms. Faith Mazibugu. Let's go check out the spectacular event. Hola, Eta and uh, Tina is the Gauteng Provincial Government. We started uh, partnering with the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, Classic Games. Uh, our first uh, games, they started almost four years ago. Uh, as the Gauteng province, we saw it as a good initiative to encourage or to get our young people, if not our athletics persons or our uh, professional uh, 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 people, to participate in other ordinary games that ordinarily you will not find. You only see them on TV, like about WW Smackdown. Uh, and a bodybuilding. Of course, we do have bodybuilders in Gauteng, but there's not, has never been a coordinated uh, 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 tournament or coordinated uh, games for them. So that is when, as, 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 as this glorious province, as this uh, uh, great province, this smart province, we saw fit as we were trying to explore, checking what is also happening in other countries. Uh, if you've got big soccer tournaments, Abula Liga and whatever. So why can't we also introduce something special? I'm very much excited to be part of the 8km night run, the night run. Um, and it's important for people to come out in numbers. Running is the mother of all sports. And I'd say whether you play boxing, you need to run. You play soccer, you need to run. So from all different aspects of life, uh, running has become a lifestyle and people need to keep healthy. So me being uh, part of this, I think from the community that I come from, people look up to me and they want to participate in this kind of uh, race. And who are we trying to sell it to? It's a, big, it's a big one. It's a big one, you know. And running is something that's close to my heart and representing running in this kind of nature, it means a lot to me. There you have it. The events will take place from the 17th to the 19th of May 2019 and we'll also be having our indigenous games such as Diketo, Dibeke. Can't wait for that event from me. Khaudi Madiba, thank you very much. And now to your weather and traffic updates. Thank you, Valencia. In your traffic update, in Krukersdorp on R24, the road is closed at Orient Hills due to protest action. Soweto on Canada Road, the road is closed between Soweto Highway and Main Reef Road due to protest action in the area. Now to your weather. It is a word start to your weekend in Johannesburg at 21 degrees Celsius. Santan is also at a maximum of 21 degrees and Midrand is at high of 22 degrees Celsius. That's it for your traffic and weather. And that is it for me and the rest of the Jobek TV team. Goodbye.